Hello everybody, hello, hello, welcome to Wild Wednesday with the Youth Sport Trust After School Club. I'm Rachel McKenzie, one of the athlete mentors at the Youth Sport Trust and my sport is Thai boxing. I'm a world champion in Thai boxing and a British champion in boxing. Now today we are going to have a little bit of a competition and you will find out whether you can beat the athlete. So for Wild Wednesday, today and every Wednesday will be a little bit about having fun while having a little bit of competition. So first of all, I just want you to check that you have got enough space. So just have a look around where you are. I've cleared my living room so I've got lots of space to run around and there won't be anything for me to bump into. So make your space as clear as you can and then we will be good to go. Now like any good athlete, any professional athlete, we always get ready for a competition with a little bit of a warm up. And today, our competition is going to be not in my boxing ring. So we're gonna warm up with a little bit of a boxing warm up. So in your space, I want you just to move around as though you were a boxer. So you're gonna jump about on your toes, have a little bit of a dance about in that space, and in a second, I'm going to give you a few simple instructions. So if you hear me clap three times, you are going to, as quick as you can, freeze. So whatever you're doing, you're going to freeze. If I clap twice, I want you to sit down. So you can sit on your sofa. If you're really quick, you can sit on the floor. Okay. If I clap once, you're going to jump. Okay. Are we ready? So moving around that ring, moving around your boxing ring, getting ready to listen. Boxing is all about fast reactions, so as quick as you can when I do my claps. Oh, did you sit down? Okay, back up again then, and let's move around that boxing ring. Have a little bit of a move, see if you can go all the way around your room, all the way around that lounge. Who jumped? Okay, can you remember what these are? Quick as you can, freeze. Brilliant, okay. Are we ready? Sit down, quick as you can. And back up. Did you jump? Well done, everybody. Keep moving. Now, let's do a little bit of a jog on the spot. Maybe you can move just around where you are. Still listening for those claps. Sit down, quick as you can. Good. And back to that little bit of a jog on the spot. Well done. Okay. Back into that jog. Did you jump? Brilliant, everybody. Well done. We'll keep warming up. I'm going to add in a couple more instructions now. If I put my arms in the air, I want you to get down to the floor. Okay. So, are we ready? Three claps, you're going to freeze. Two claps, sit down. One clap, jump, arms in the air, you're going to lie on the floor. And remembering this is about quick reactions. So you're listening, but you're also looking now. So back to your jogging around. Sit down. Well done. Back around that boxing ring in your boxing stance. Did you get down on the floor? Back into that jog. Who jumped? Okay, now if I put my hands on my knees, I want you to go as high as you can. Knees up high. So remembering to keep looking at me, keep moving around your ring. Are we ready? Back to that movement. Knees up high. Well done. Back to moving around for me. Sit down. Okay, back up and we go. Did you lie down on the floor? Well done. Okay, I think you're all doing a great job. So, if I go hands out wide, this time I want you to set step. So quick as you can, quick as you can, nice and quick. And tomorrow, you're going to meet my friend Nolly. She's a rugby player and that's really important for her getting out of the way of her opponents. So back to moving around. 
High knees, quick as you can. Okay, back we go. Keep looking. Who can remember what that was? Side step. Well done. Back to moving around your ring. Freeze. Okay, off we go again. Now maybe we could jump about a little bit. If you want to boxing, you'll see the boxers jump around. Okay. Are we down on the floor? Brilliant. Up you get then. Let's go back to our little jog. Who can remember our one clap was? Fantastic work. Okay, off you go again. Moving around that space. High knees, fast as you can. Can you go a little bit faster? If fast is too much, then you can walk these knees up high. Okay, come back to having a little jog around our space. Can you sit down quicker than your mums and your dads? Well done. Back to our space, we're gonna move around our ring again. Quick feet sideways. Or you can just sidestep it out. Okay, back to moving. Maybe have a little jog. Sit down. Well done. Now I hope that everybody is starting to feel a little bit warmer. So, what I want you to do is just to go and grab a quick drink. Well, while you're getting that drink, today in our game, you will need 20 soft items. Now I've got my items here. And I've got some socks, and I've got some teddies, and I've got some boxing gloves. So if you want to pause, you can pause the video, but you can just run while we're having a drink, run and get those 20 items as quickly as you can. Okay, off we go. And while we're getting those items, and everybody is getting their first drink, We had some great shouts after Jenna's session yesterday. And I've got some of the uh, shout outs that came through on our social media channels. And we loved it that you got engaged. And we love to see all of your wives. They were fantastic. Now, I particularly loved Zach Burdell's. Zach, that why was incredible. Also, Connie May, you did a fantastic job with that why yesterday. And on Instagram, we got a message from Winnie at 01. Now, I think that might be Emily, who's why we saw. That was also absolutely brilliant. And we will have a few more shout outs a bit later. But if you want to get in touch with us on social media, please do tag us and let us know how you're enjoying our session. Now, for our Not In My Boxing Ring competition, I want you to set all of your soft items out on one side of the room and you need to give yourself a space, maybe a target. I'm going to use my cushion as my space for my items to come to and sometimes when we're doing Thai boxing out in Thailand we fight outside in the open air and the leaves fall down onto the boxing ring and before we can start our competition our job is to make sure all those leaves are out of the ring and ready so the space is clear and ready for us to compete. So our competition is going to be to see how quickly we can take our leaves out of my ring over here and put them in the composting bin at the other side. Now the rules of this competition, and you're going to see if you can beat me, are that you can only take one leaf at a time. So you've got your 20 leaves, we're going to take one leaf at a time and see how quickly we can clear up the space. Now, if you've got your mums or your dads or your grannies, you could have a race with them. Or maybe you could put some leaves at one side and the others at the other side and see who can clear their ring the quickest. So, are we ready for our first competition? So, one leaf at a time. From this side, you're going to go as fast as you can. In three, two, one, let's go. I've got one leaf over there. I've got a big boxing glove as my second leaf. Oh, 
I've got a glove. That's my third leaf. And it's there. I've got another glove. Oh, I've got a little tiger. I'm nearly going. Are you going as fast as me? Keep going. Keep running. That's it. Well done. Keep going with those leaves. Off we go. I'm nearly there. My boxing ring's nearly tidy. How's your boxing ring getting on? Oh, a few more. Let me know if you've beaten my time. You can tag us at the Youth Sport Trust Instagram or Facebook video. I've lost a leap. Oh. Ooh. How did you do? That was quite tiring, wasn't it? So let's take our leaves back. Now, hopefully, everybody got that out breath there. It's good for us to get out of breath every, every day. Do a bit of exercise that makes us feel out of breath. So, we're going to go again. But, this time, I want you to see if you can balance your leaves on your head. So, we're going to walk with our leaf balanced and then pop it back into our recycling bin. So we're going to go one at a time and I want you to do this one as a walk for me for the first time and then we'll try and speed it up with that balance. Are you ready? Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I don't know how easy it's going to be to balance some of these things. These leaves are quite tricky. How's your race walking? Oh, got my boxing glove. That's a tricky one to balance. And this is one of the things that athletes practice is balancing because it helps us to be good at all our sports. Whatever our sports are, balance is really important. Oh, how are you doing on your leaves? Oh, I'm still going. Hopefully, I'll get some good pictures of people balancing really exciting things on their head. Maybe you've got a dog like mine. Oh, off we go. I'm still going with my leaves. How are your leaves going? It feels like I've got a lot of leaves here. Oh, off we go. Keep going. Have you got your 20? How many people have got all 20 over to the other side? Keep going if you can. Oh. Few more to go. Few more. Oh. Ah. Off we go. Are we there yet? Everybody got theirs over? Is your boxing ring clear? Are those leaves gone ready? Are those leaves gone ready for your competition? Now, who can remember from our warm up? If I go out to the air, that's right, down to the floor. Brilliant. What about if I go hands on my knees? Are you running with those knees up high or marching with high knees? How about if I go arms out wide? Still doing those headset. Fantastic. That's brilliant that you've remembered all of those. Now take your leaves back across into that boxing ring. Okay. Now we've had a slow one. So we're going to go back to a fast one. This is going to be a race again. So as quick as you can. I want you to see if you can get that heartbeat going. Are you ready? We're going to go in a run or as fast as you can do it, but you've got to carry them one at a time. So, three, two, one, let's go. Up we go. I've got a dragon and a sock. Oh, and a little dog. These leaves have been messing up my boxing ring, slowing down my competition time. Need to make sure our area is tidy. I'm getting ready. 
to do a competition. Okay, here we go. Up we go. Oh, and then the leaves have fallen out of the compost. I have to save it at the end. Have you beaten me? How are we doing? Oh, keep going. Now, Ooh. fast as you can, fast, 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 fast. Well done. I've got one more. Have you got yours there? Oh, fantastic. Well done, everyone. Just grab a quick drink for me. 30 seconds. Quick drink. Now, we'll take these leaves back over. We're going to think about how else we can move them. Okay, but... Who can remember from my warm up? Have a little joke on the spot. What about if I do three claps? Well done, freeze. Okay, what about? Do you remember that's a jump? Good. What about? Can you sit down? Brilliant. And we practice lots. And lots to get good at our sports, don't we? We keep doing the same thing lots of times. So this time, for our challenge, I want you to see if you can go on the floor. So you can carry your leaves on your back. Okay. Or if they're too tricky, you could hold it under your armpit, maybe. I'll crawl like that. Or crawl on one hand. Or you could hold it in your hand. And maybe we'll crawl backwards on the way back. So we'll crawl forwards on the way there and then see if we can crawl backwards to get back to our boxing ring. Are you ready? Okay, we are going in three, two, one. Off we go. I'm gonna hold, oh, I forgot to go backwards. I'm gonna hold mine in my hand. Let's see if you can go backwards. So when we think about our movements, and when Nolly talks about her rugby games, she's having to move in all kinds of directions. And on Friday, you'll get to meet Toby, who is an Olympic rower. And when people are rowing, they face backwards to row. So, oh, off we go. How are you doing with your crawling? This is quite tricky. Oh, off we go. I've lost one of my leaves. Keep going, everybody. Nearly there. Oh, I think I took two then. Off we go. Oh, my boxing ring's getting messier by the minute. Keep going. See if you keep going faster than me. Forwards and then that backwards crawling. Off we go. Backwards crawling. Oh, oh we're nearly there. I'm nearly there. How are you doing with your leads? Oh, off we go. Now, how are we doing? One more for me. Oh, how did you do that? Fantastic. Now, grab a quick drink for me. I've got a few more people have sent me a message. So I've got a few more shout outs to do. I need to have a drink. Hydration is really important. So, Well, I've got happy birthday. So a happy birthday to Harry Barker. And he's five today. And he's following along with his dad at home. And we've got Mr. Ross and the children from St. Briot School in Cornwall. And they are gonna send me the fantastic pictures after today's session. And then the war class at Holy Trinity who are going to do this workout in their classroom tomorrow. So I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day practicing in your classrooms. And then we have Barney Crossland, who's following along at home with his brother Ted and Seb and Esme Hall. And they are doing this session and then joining in with their dad for a plank challenge afterwards. You guys are amazing. Amazing. Okay, so I think we've got time for one more, one more race to beat the athlete. And you can all let me know how many times you were able to beat me. Now this one 
is going to be tricky because we are going to see if we can go backwards. Now make sure there's nothing you can trip over, but we're going to see if we can jump backwards to get our leaves out of our boxing wedge. Now are you ready? In three, in two, in one, let's go. We're going backwards, oh, going backwards. We'll turn around at the end. The boxing glove doesn't really like to stay on my head. Up we go backwards. Can you keep it on your head as you go? Backwards and on your head. Oh, off we go. How are we doing? How many leaves have you got left? That one was quite easy to balance. I'm hopeful I'm going to see lots of pictures of people being able to balance things on their head. Probably better than I'm doing here. Oh, this one's on my head. Off we go. Few more. Have you got your 20 leaves? If you're having a race with your mum or your dad, see if you can beat them in this one going backwards. Off we go. Few more. That one was very soft on my head. Oh, this one's very tricky. Oh, back we go. I've got a few more leaves and then my boxing will be ready to go. It'll be good for that competition. Oh, two more for me. Take my little doggy to last. Oh, he doesn't like to balance. I have to hold him. Oh, well done. Well done. Now, how are we all feeling? Did everyone manage to clear their boxing ring? Okay, grab yourselves another quick drink. It's really important when you're working out and through the day that you keep drinking water, you stay hydrated so that your brain and your muscle, your body can keep working to their best. So, now don't forget, at the end of the session, to tidy up all of your socks or any of the other toys that you've got, because we want to keep our, our boxing ring really clear. But I think that you have all done a fantastic job. That was quite tiring. That was quite hard work. So we need to just have a little cool down and a little bit of a stretch, but before we do that, Let's see, who can remember, who can remember my first instructions? So, let's have a little jog on the spot. A nice gentle jog maybe. We'll start to bring that down a little bit. Make it into a march. But listen for my claps. Look out for my hand movements. Are we ready? Oh, hands on your knees. Now, for this one, I want you to see how slowly you can lift those knees up so we're doing a little bit of balancing here it's a bit like when you balance for kick the uh, lifting up ready for that balance and then we'll go back to walking okay we have your hands outside can you do some slow side stepping and what about if we step and we stay there and we do a little bit of a stretch out to that side. If you need to hold on, you can hold on to the chair or hold on to somebody that's in the room with you. Good. Could you stretch to the other side? I hope you've been enjoying our YST after school club. You're going to meet some fantastic athletes over the next few weeks. Like I said, tomorrow you've got, as I said, you've got Nolly Waterman who is a GB rugby player. And that is going to be a fantastic session. And then on Friday, you've got Olympic rower Toby Garbett coming to share some sessions with you. Okay, we're right back to our walking. Now, who can remember what hands in the hours? That's it. We're going to go down to the floor. Now, what about if we have a little stretch here? 
lift up if that feels comfortable. And if it doesn't feel comfortable up that high, you could come back down onto your elbows and just stay down here for a little bit. And then maybe while we're sitting down on this floor, we'll stay down here for a little bit of a stretch. And I thought I would just tell you a bit about Thai boxing. So Thai boxing is a martial art. You bring your feet in together and it comes all the way from Thailand. Now I didn't start Thai boxing until I was 18. So I haven't done any martial arts or any sports or even a little bit like Thai boxing until I left school. But I did play lots and lots of different sports while I was at school. And that's the thing that's really important. You might not have found the sport that you love yet, but if you keep trying new things and be brave enough to try a few times, because nobody's good at their sport straight away, I certainly wasn't, be brave enough to keep trying different things, you will also find the sport that you love. Now I wonder, can anybody touch their toes? You can challenge your mum and your dad, your granny, whoever's in the room with you, see if they can touch their toes. A little stretch down to our toes. Fantastic. And then if we jump up, we jump up. Good. Okay. Can we stretch our arms? How far down your back can you reach? We're going to see if we can reach all the way down our back. Maybe we can connect our fingers together at the back. Now I'm really missing all of my boxing friends because normally I would see them every day. And it's really fun when I go to my club and I'm sure that some of you are missing your friends as well. Swap those arms around. So at the YST, the U Sport Trust, we thought, may my athlete friends who you'll meet over the next few weeks, thought that we could have our own club. Our club with you guys in it. So what we would really love is if you could keep in touch with us, ask your mums and dads to let us know that you have been part of our session today. And the way that we'd love you to do that is to share with us your fantastic why. Now, when I go out to box, I get my gloves, I put my gloves on, I put my gloves on in the changing room, and then when I'm getting ready to go to the boxing room, I use a really special magic trick that our athlete team know. And I use this why to make myself feel really confident. Because when we go into this Y position, we're telling our brain that we feel confident and ready. So not only does our Y stand for our Youth Sport Trust After School Club, but it also helps us to feel brilliant at the end of the day. So I would love it if you could show me your best Y and post that on the Youth Sport Trust social media feeds so that I can see what you have been doing. Now, tomorrow, you will also need your 20 items. So maybe some socks um, or, or some pegs. Uh, and you will be working with Nolly thinking about thinking Thursday. So Nolly will tell you tomorrow what else you need, but tomorrow is thinking Thursday. So come with your thinking caps on, ready to go at five clock. Now I want to say a really big challenge, so as well as sharing your why, I wonder if anybody could play, not in my boxing ring, with their brothers or their sisters, or maybe their mums or their dads. And you could share that with me as well. I would love to see you playing with your friends or your family. And let me know how many times you beat me in the not in my boxing ring competition. I have absolutely loved today. And I will be with you again next Friday. And next Friday, we will be thinking about some martial moves. So you will get to see some of my Thai boxing, and maybe I'll share with you some of my boxing uh, medals as well. I hope you have had a fantastic day today. Show us your why, and we really are really excited about joining you for the next few weeks as part of the U Sport Trust after school club. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week and tomorrow you'll be joined by Nolly Waterman. So go and check her out 
and drop her a message to let her know that you'll be joining us so she can give you a shout out. Thanks everybody, I will see you next week.